And as we leave 2020 behind, most of us hope to have a better year in 2021. What if that were up to us to decide instead of outside circumstances? Well, it is up to us. Rob will walk us through an exercise to get us started towards designing 2021 the way we want it to be. Help me welcome Robert Murray. Thank you, Mrs. Toastmasters. So how many of you, we, I think we've kind of gotten a good indication of it already, but how many of you kind of hate on 2020 at this point? Like really happy to see it in the rear view mirror. <laughs> so. And just out of curiosity, how many of you had kind of a great 2020? Like 2020 wasn't so bad for you. Yeah, see, so it was, it was like, it was okay, not great for everyone. This one, we may get universal response to. How many people are excited for a better 2021 than they had in 2020? <laughs> I think I might put two hands up on that one. So as Tanya alluded to, what if it wasn't dependent on external events? What if it wasn't dependent on whether we're in lockdown or not lockdown, whether the vaccine gets rolled out in time, whether there's political strife taking place or not. What if we get to choose for ourselves if 2021 is gonna be a better year? And that is the case, that you can actually choose 2021 to be a better year because it really is, I was trying to figure out the percentage and I don't know what the exact number is. It's over 90% that it's actually up to us whether we have a better year or not. It doesn't matter what else is going on in the outside world because no matter what the circumstances are, we can choose to be happy. We can choose to be resourceful. We can choose to be resilient. We can choose to step up and face the challenges that we were thrown at. And for those of you who raised your hand to 2021 being, a, being, 2020 being a little sucky and also better, I think the answer to that is that you chose those things. You chose resourcefulness. You chose to rely on yourself. You chose, okay, things are not necessarily working out the way I expected for sure, but what do I do to respond to them in a more positive way? So one of the things that I realized reflecting back on 2020 was that the biggest question was who am I choosing to be? How am I choosing to show up in this moment? And some of the things that I've set myself up for success in 2020, one, is I've had to close off a couple of loops. I was really glad to hear the uh, table topics where Stephen was talking about uh, cleaning out his garage. And I don't know if you guys know, I had to move from Monterey to San Jose, and now I'm back in Monterey. Well, I arrived down in Monterey with one carload and boy, did that feel good. And then I went up and I got a second carload of stuff in San Jose and I've been living on two carloads worth of stuff. And honestly, I've got everything I need in two carloads and that's great. And I would love to have one because it was actually kind of fun to live on a single carload. One of the other things I've done recently to optimize 2021 for myself, because I was feeling it, you know, just from the news and, and, all the division and all the stuff that's going on. Well, yesterday I deleted every podcast, every source of news that I had from my phone, from my internet feed. I turned off my subscriptions and oh my gosh, I'm so much happier, so much uh, more on purpose than I was before. Like I'm good. I was thinking of it as a temporary fast for, you know, 10 or 20 days. I might just keep on doing this because, you know, I can not go that many days without food, but I'm pretty sure I can go that many days without news and <laughs> not really hurt myself at all. Uh, one of the other things that I did to become more successful in 2020, and I'm continuing it in 2021, is I found a partner in my business. I am now creating a mastermind where I'm training coaches on how to facilitate group sessions and how to do the kind of thing that we're doing here, which is really fun. And the partner that I had enabled me to go 10 times faster. It wasn't just a one and one, one plus one equals two, it was a one plus one equals 10 because he and I have complementary strengths. Uh, he is much more creative and energetic and fun loving. 
And I'm probably a stronger facilitator. And the two of us with that creativity and the fun and the high energy plus the facilitation skills, that makes a really great team. And then the third thing that I did was I found a team or a community that I wanted to be part of. And because I didn't have that community already around me and supporting me, I decided to create it. So in creating a mastermind of coaches, it's, it's incredible. Like I was on for, for two hours today uh, with a group of my coaches training them. And then we did a debrief and the debrief was more valuable because I actually learned as much from them reflecting on what went well and what could have gone better. It was magical. Uh, so creating a community that was really powerful. So those are three of the big moves that I've made uh, to make 2021 a better year. And now I'd like to ask each one of you to reflect on three questions about what you can do to make 2021 a better year for yourself. So I'm going to type the three questions into the chat box for each one of you. And what I'm going to invite you to do is to reflect on these questions for probably about a minute approximately each. And then, as Tanya says, true classic Rob Murray form, we're going to send you into breakout rooms so that you can discuss these things with somebody else. So everybody's voice is going to get heard. Everybody's going to have a chance to speak and share. So I'll give you a minute to reflect on that and, uh, and or go to the restroom if you need to go to the restroom while you're reflecting. But if you can, as we get back, because you're going to go into breakout rooms, jump on video, jump on audio, because it makes it a better experience probably for the people that you're partnering with. And uh, we'll give you guys a chance to share. So let me paste the questions into the chat box for you. And then I will read them to you briefly. So question number one, what are the open loops that are causing you emotional energy leaks? And that could be, as an example, watching the news. For me, that's one of the ones, having a bunch of stuff, emotional energy leak for me. If you were going to be 10 times more successful this year than you were last year, what habits do you need to start implementing? And then the third question is, what support do you need to get there? Could be forming a team, could be hiring a coach, could be reading something, learning something new, buying a new course like Phil did. So those are the three questions. So I'm gonna give everybody approximately 60 seconds to reflect on those questions. I'm gonna share a little journaling music. And when we are done with that, if you're done journaling, you can just look up and then I will send you into breakout rooms. Yeah, Anya. Anya. Well, what we learned, I was glad that this, I paired up with um, Francisco and found out that he's an independent spirit. For his support, he's gonna rely on self-discipline. And I found that really impressive. And we both thought that the energy drainers was worrying. Love it. Cool. I can relate. Who else would like to jump in? Robert, Spencer and I had a nice discussion. Maybe perhaps you could ask Spencer to say something. All right. Spencer, you've been volunteered. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, Robert. Uh, yeah, Khalid and I did have a good discussion. Um, a couple of things we, we just spoke about. Uh, we're, we're just consistency was one of was one of the main things we talked about. Uh, we wanted to just be more consistent in our in, in order to get to that ten times productivity level. We want to make sure we're more consistent in our practices, and um, I think that was one of the main things that we both took away from it. Nice, love it. Pick one more share. Who wants to bring Could it I home? jump in, uh, Robert? Could I jump in, Robert? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, actually, I want to comment on your first question. I Actually, the question, the way it is phrased, is too strong for me because I have no problem with emotions, but I want to share something with you that was annoying or has always been annoying. It's the news. Mm -hmm. You know, the news, I think people who are in the news business, I think they should somehow be like, you know, we elect like, uh, of, you know, officials, they should be elected because sometimes the, all they ask for is their rights, but they also have duties towards us people also. And sometimes people who have like big shows, they are imposing their opinions on us. 
in some way, in one way or another. So they should be a, a held accountable also. That's that's what my 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 opinion is, because sometimes they they you know they influence us, influence us in a certain ways that they like keep everyone to think the way they think, regardless of whether you are left or right or you are you know whatever you are, and that is actually for me. That's why I haven't watched TV like for three months now. <laughs> and I bet you're far happier. So I love that. Cool. Well, who uh, who has a, a a sense that 2021 is going to be a better year with the ideas that you self generated and heard from some of the other members? All right, let's bring it home, Bayview 2021. Let's look for a really good and prosperous new year. Thank you.